Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back. Got you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family. Just thank you for being you, embracing your gift, being able to push love and light out to others as well as yourself. Even when you don't feel like you're up to it, you still do it anyway. So, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings. Blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you just stop telling me about your impact again and how it, you know, impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the uh, video has been very informative to you and you feel like you want to go ahead and, you know, it gave you good vibes and you want to love to share it with a loved one or a friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, you know, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites as well. And once again, thank you so much for, you know, stopping by my channel and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, the music I am listening to today... It's called Nature Sounds, Healing Music, Piano, Sleeping, Calming, Soothing, Relaxing, Stress Relief, Instrumental. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101 Empath. Uh, it's just a phase in our life we have to go through. And I know there's a lot of times we go through stuff. And I, I give y'all, I give y'all, you know, much props for that. Hold on just a second. I apologize, y'all. Pause for the cause. Sorry about that. And so my cat wanted to get out the door, and I guess the door was stuck and she couldn't open it. So, but yeah, we go through so many things in our life, and you just like we. There's times when we sit and reflect, and there's, you know, we get upset, we cry, and try to ask the universe or ask God, why do we have to go through this? Why do it? Why do I have to feel so much pain? Why do I have to feel so much confusion or anger? You know, why do, why do I have to do, go through all these things? Because, you know, I, I'm being trying to be the most positive person I can try to be. You know, try to be, you know, in the most upbeat vibe, even though when it's strike chaos around me. You know, what did I do? And it's just like, you didn't do anything. You know, well, we did do something, but we didn't do anything. It's just like, you know, we we did, you know, through different lifetimes, we have done things. And it's like we're not, I guess the way I'm figuring it out, where my opinion, how I look at it, this is like that last time for us to clean our slate. Like, we have did this so many daggone times. It should be, We should be able to do it with our eyes closed. But it's like we forget about things along the way. That, you know, there's sometimes where when we have gone through things, they seem so familiar, like deja vu, like I've been through this before, I've done this before. Why does it seem like, you know, I, this is so redundant to me? Because you have done this before. You know, it's just a phase in our life we have to go through. It's like we learn. You know, there's times where we feel less adequate, where we don't have that confidence, we don't have that strength, we don't have that self-love, that we are put to the test on things that are thrown right dead in our face to make us love ourselves when we are not receiving love from other people when we we actually need to start loving you know finding love through ourselves because we can't love other people if we don't love ourselves because we'll abuse other people because we abuse ourselves so it's just like things we have to go through in life you know can be very painful, can be very agonizing, can be emotionally and mentally draining. But we have learned so much from the things that we have stumbled upon, the mistakes we've made, the, between the delays, it gives you a chance to work on yourself. And I tell y'all this a lot because I have to tell myself this a lot. You know, when I'm ready to get home, I'm ready to get closure, knowing, you know, wanting to know things about my dad that I really yearn for. But I know you know when it's meant for me to know it will it, it will fall in my lap I don't have to chase for it you know I don't have to go look for it. it it'll come to me so it's just like that gives me enough time to work on myself be able to heal myself on things that I need to heal myself from let go of things that I need to let go of you know look at things in a totally different light you know because sometimes it's hard to be positive all the time you know and I try to you know I try to be as much you know, as positive person I can try to be, but you know, there's times that there's days where I'm angry. There's days that I'm pissed that I just don't want to be bothered. 
because I get like that. But then there's, you know, this is when I end up making these videos because of things like that happen. So it's a good thing that I do go through these things because it gives me a voice to talk about other things that go on that we need to realize, you know. And it's just like, you know, I, I, I go through things and I'm just like, why do I have to go through this? Why is it like right dead up in my face, like uncut and raw? It's like I had to go through all these things. If I'm going to be who I am, you know, doing YouTube, you're putting your life on the line. You're putting your, your life as an open book. So there's going to be days that, you know, I can get as much love and positivity as I possibly can get. But then there's going to be days where I'm going to get negative hatred stuff towards me. And I have to be able to have that skin for that. I have to be able to have that mentality to go ahead and shake it off where, you know, nothing can't phase me like that. Because, I mean, I've been threatened. You know, I've had death threats. You know, I, I've had many different things to me where, you know, now I can sit back and say, you know what, that helped mold me. You know, going through things like that, when I can see how hateful people can be in my face, you know, things that can happen up close where, you know, I can't feel like I'm being phased or just don't even let it bother me because I have to say, you know what, this is not my character, that's theirs. Or, you know, this is how things go. This lets you see how people can truly be. You know, when people can show how much love they have, there's also some people that can show a lot of hate. So I have to be able to say, you know what, I'm blessed for the fact is you showed me who you truly are. So now I ain't even got to waste my time anymore. <laughs> you know, so that let me learn because there's a lot of times I look for love in the wrong places. I look for friends when there weren't friends, when I can clearly see on the sign, these are not your friends. But I still chased after that. But now it's just like, you know, who wants people in your life like that is going to make you miserable. Is it going to make you feel like you, you, you know, you have to be selective about the things that you talk about. Anytime you have to be selective about the things that you talk about, it's different when the universe is saying, you know, you can mess your blessings up just by, you know, announcing that even though the person can be positive in your life. You just don't, there's just certain things you can't talk about, just like there's certain things they can't talk about. That doesn't mean they don't love you. That's a different story. But when you know there's somebody that just absolutely know no kind of way you should do that, hey, then you, you already know that that's just a blessing they got. You know, that hurts. It's just a blessing because they truly showed you how they are. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can, and know that you are blessed, you are truly loved and highly favored, and knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'm sending out some infinite abundance, uplifting vibes, healing vibes, comforting vibes, and loving vibes if you truly need them. And my post notification shout out let me see who it goes to today jabriant mitchell what's up fam i hope you're having a blessed week i hope you had a relaxing enjoyable weekend and remember as always give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites go ahead and hit like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know i'm about to upload my next video and drop me a line i'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and hit me toward the positive direction and even like and share on your social media favorites if i didn't say that already but <laughs> all right much love to y'all and i hope y'all had a great weekend and i will see you on my next video peace and be wild